gang what it do youtube it's your boy jeremiah two times talk to me nice said twice the hat backwards bearing man you know i had to get some bigger hats because you know the hair the hair done grown out a lot more than anything my head already big but that's besides the point so boom today we're gonna be talking about something that's a, a bit of a touchy subject right and y'all know uh i really only talk to y'all like i talk to y'all bro when it's like some real dead serious like it's something serious to me right boom so it's a touchy subject right but we're gonna get right into it right so i've had in the past you know my navy um career whatever you want to call it right i've had a good bit of female friends that have been um sexually assaulted um raped whatever right in the military um some people got justice for it whether that's the legal way or the unorthodox way you feel what i'm saying you know what I'm saying? Either way it goes, it's been resolved. But the thing that that makes it such a touchy subject to me is that, yeah, they, they were like female friends, like like people that I consider to be like, like really close friends, like family, you know what I'm saying? Type thing where it's like, it ain't no, no hidden agendas, it ain't no, oh, I'm really trying to do this or that. It's really just platonically, we just cool type shit, right? So when the situations happen, it's like, damn, and I done seen like, a good bit of them, like the 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 phase that they go through, and obviously I'm a male, right? But I speak on this for males and females, cause you know what I'm saying. Same way it happened to females, it can happen to males. I'm not trying to make this a biased topic where it's like, oh, it only happened to females. I've also seen, heard. When I say seen, I mean like cases that I, you know what I'm saying, I deal with where it's also a male too. So you know what I'm saying. I'm trying to keep this, you know what I'm saying. Um, but as far as the females go, it's like, dang, cause it's like something was stripped of you you feel what i'm saying like something was stripped of you so it's sort of like those walls that you had in barriers you pretty much had to build a new one and that's why i feel so bad for like my my few female friends that that's happened to because in certain situations i'm not gonna sit here and act like um um i'm perfect and i just let the 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 legal stuff run its course you know what i'm saying it's sometimes where it, it gets in me so much just because of the type of guy that i am and the type of guy that i am i'm like i'm very overprotective right rather you you my friend right as male female whatever you tell me some shit happened bro like bro i'm there you call me i'm there i'm pulling up and whatever happened happened type thing right so sometimes my emotions will get the best of me you feel what i'm saying and you just gotta handle that the way you handle that you know what i'm saying work your mood the way you do you just be ready for those repercussions that happen that come with that you feel what i'm saying but it's like um when it happened to them, bro, it sucks. Cause like everyone, they all handle it differently. Some of them might push everybody away. You gotta understand, like if, if you that third party, like if you just that person that like, you just being there for them, you gotta understand. You can be there for them, but it's sometimes you just gotta bag up, but not be too far away if you feel what I'm saying. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like not hug them, but you, you, you just enough to touch them. You feel what I'm saying? Cause like, like, and this is just from going off of what I've seen. I'm not going off of what I think. This is what I've seen. You know what I'm saying? Because it done happened like five or six times, right? And those are the same person as different females, right? So, boom. You just got to be there for that for that woman. Because it's like, dang. Whether you her female friend, male friend, whatever. And as a male friend, you just sort of got to like rock out and understand. Like, okay, we can never. As males, we can never understand 100% what they're going through. Unless you done got dead that way. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you'll never really understand that. And I understand that with my female friends. So like, I'm, the only reason I'm speaking on this is because of, um, I had a, this new female friend, whatever, like, we cool, whatever. Bro, she, she had only, she had been like watching my YouTubes and stuff like that, like before she joined. And I always told her like, boom, when you join, boom, 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 hit me up if you ever need any questions, right? You feel me? I never knew that she was gonna come out here, right? And boom, boom, boom figure out um she out here and everything bro she had been out here for like a week and a half right and that situation happened right she, she you know what i'm saying she she was, she was raping everything like that boom and the the biggest thing and i know just from what i've seen once again to reiterate to reiterate that that for my female friends they feel as if they, they don't feel safe. You feel what I'm saying? They don't feel clean. Like, they feel disgusted. Like, they look at themselves and they don't feel... You feel what I'm saying? And that's such a bad feeling. You know what I'm saying? And that's just... 
obviously, once again, I've never felt that myself, but I can only just imagine how that feel to look at yourself in a mirror and not even like what you're seeing because of, uh, uh, I don't even call that a man. That's like, you really a low person, like a low human being to do something like that to somebody. You know what I'm saying? Like, whether you have kids, a daughter, a son, whatever, to do that to somebody else's child is like crazy as hell to me, bro. And it's just like, a lot of it, and definitely in the military, obviously in the civilian world too, but in the military, a lot of it just go under the table because they feel like nobody really going to hit them out or whatever the situation is. Maybe they under 21 and maybe they were drinking or something, right? Maybe they were drinking and then boom, 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 such and such happened. Whatever, there's always a reason for, for why a lot of them go quiet about it. And then some of these commands, and once again, I'm going to put the disclaimer out. Cause I know some of these old heads like to come at me crazy and all this other stuff about what I talk about. I don't care. I'm gonna never stop talking about what I talk about. This is what I can do what I want, and I'm gonna always do what I want on everything, right? But like some of these commands, they don't care. These people are so desensitized. It's either they desensitized, or they truly just don't care, bro. They like, they don't like I, the amount of cases that I see of people with actual mental, like like they not good up there at the top, bro. And they head they so messed up, bro. And it's like, you try to talk to these people at these commands and stuff, bro. And it's like, they either truly don't care. They don't care. And they don't be caring until somebody either do something, hurt they self, or, or, you know, God forbid, they kill they self. And now, hey, now we to the point where some people is like, oh, my God, we don't know what's going on. Bro, y'all don't be hearing these folks out. Like, they don't be hearing these folks out when it's like real shit going on, like real stuff going on. Like, you know, at this time, like... And in the older time with our parents, bro, they used to just like thugging it out. Like, you know what I'm saying? They, they thug it out. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't that much social media. Now you have so much social media with all these people. That's like, so if you feeling like, if you feel like you the only person going through a, a situation, right? You go on TikTok or something. That I don't know what the hell going on with TikTok, but TikTok will, po will have you looking at everything where somebody else is feeling how you feel which then lets you think psychologically that there's nothing wrong about how I'm feeling or how I'm thinking because somebody else is doing it too, right? So you're like, all right, well, it's cool. It's cool for me to have these feelings and it's not okay to have these feelings. Like for, like I said, males, females, whatever. For these females, it's not okay for you to feel like you can't talk to nobody, you da 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 da, -da. So like, I don't really got that many friends, right? So it's like, not, not like, cause oh, people don't like me or whatever, it's by choice. You know what I'm saying? So the people that I do have that's in my circle or a little bit out the circle, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I got you. And now like that I'm in this position where I know so much legal stuff now, like by the books, by regulations and all this other stuff now. Cause don't get me wrong. I don't know everything. I only study things that I feel like it's going to really help me help people that I care about. Right? Sexual assault, rape, wherever it is, bro, like mental health stuff, whatever. I'm going to study on that stuff because that's what I want to do for real. Like, at least while I'm still in the Navy, you know what I'm saying? This ain't something I want to do forever, but it's something that I, I care about. You know what I'm saying? Helping people. Because I used to be in them situations where immensely, bro, I was like, man, bro, I'm sleeping in my car and shit. Like, like me, me and my bro, it wasn't just me. It's like me and bro, like, bro, we sleeping in a car, sleeping on the couch sometimes, bro. Like, shit just gets sticky sometimes. You feel what I'm saying? You feel like you can't talk to nobody. So having that, that person that you could just talk to and you not feel like, you being judged or whatever, bro, that shit matters a lot. It matters so much, bro, and that shit goes a long way. Like, even if you don't vent about your specific situation, bro, just having somebody that feel like they got your back, you know what I'm saying? A little pat on the back, bro, that shit goes a long way, right? So, boom, she tried talking to, um, this is what she just telling me, right? She tried to talk to somebody at the little command or whatever. Dude just blew it off. Tried to talk to somebody, somebody just blew it off. And I, I, I just let her do her thing, right? I'm like, boom. And as she, whenever she hit me up or whatever, right? She, she tells me, she's telling me this stuff like she's spiraling type shit. Like, she don't know what to do. She like, bro, she only been in the Navy for three weeks. She, she's out here for two weeks and it went on a little underway, right? It's like, boom. I hate that for somebody who just came into the Navy, right? Because like, y'all know my, my personal story in the Navy that's the reason why, like, with all this medical stuff that I got going on, bro, I just rather get out. You know what I'm saying? But that's my personal thing. But I'll never, like, and I'll be joking sometimes when I be like, ah, oh, don't join the Navy, right? Bro, if you if you want, you can get these experiences in the Navy, bro, where you experience, you can travel the world, all this other stuff. 
right? It's ups and downs to it, just like in the civilian world, bro. It really is. But if you get to a bad command, a toxic command, it makes things a thousand times worse because you have to see these people every single day. So, you know what I'm saying? And it's just like, bro, I'm really like coming from the heart with y'all right now because y'all know y'all y'all family to me, bro. Like, so like, I just feel bad for her, bro. So I was like, all right, bro, it's time for me to really like, all right, because I, I tried to put faith in that command because I don't know that command. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to throw that command out there either. You know what I'm saying? But obviously she's getting blown off, right? She E1 through E3. I don't really know which one. But that's not right, bro. Nobody should be treated like that. Like, we all just human beings at the end of the day, bro. Like, that shit's just crazy. So, boom. At the position that I'm at, you know, I'm only at E3. I'm sorry. I'm at E4. But I work. I ain't even gonna say where I work at. But where I work at, I'm over. Like, you know what I'm saying? My office is over a ton of commands. So, it's like, wherever y'all do y'all little report at, it's gonna come. I'm gonna see it. I'm going to see it. I'm going to make the package and hand it off to the big dog, big dog. So, you feel what I'm saying? And I handle the legal stuff. So, I'm like, man, you know what? All right. It's time for me to suit up. You feel what I'm saying? Like, suit up because it used to be, you know what I'm saying? Before I was in legal, when I was, you know, a little bit more immature, me suiting up is me trying to, you know what I'm saying? Trying to get right. But me soon I'm now it's like all right let me bring out my briefcase you know what I'm saying let me let me get this let me get this paperwork let me get in touch with the right people you know what I'm saying because if I don't know I know somebody that do know because everybody y'all know everybody that I'm networked with now way higher ranks I'm talking about higher officers like you know what I'm saying they they do this you know what I'm saying they they really do this they put the foot out and once they put their foot down can't nobody ain't nobody stepping bigger than them you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I'm I'm glad and I'm blessed enough to be like, okay, now I'm in a place where I can help people in a better way than how I used to handle things. So how I used to handle things, I'm not, I'm not like proud of what, you know what I'm saying? But it was just like, it was only a matter of time before you get caught up for doing all that stuff. And then you, you're in trouble for all this and that. And really all you was doing was just standing up for someone who can't stand up for themselves. But sometimes, because like I said, I'm, I'm one of them save hero dudes right whatever you want to call me that's just what i am right i ain't running from it it, it is and i've done things that i ain't proud of and i've done things i'm proud of you know what i'm saying but i i always want to be there to help people you feel what i'm saying rather now it's just now i know how to do it legally handle it to get you the help rather that's therapy whatever it is to make you feel whether it's a male or a female bro rather to make you feel safe to make friends or whatever even i care about because i don't help sailors that i don't know you I don't know you. I read your case. You know what I'm saying? And it, if, if it seemed thorough enough and it seemed legit for real, bro, I'm going I'm to do what I can to try to help you or tell such and such them. Because, like, where I'm at, like I said, there's higher up people. So they don't, they don't, they never been in the trenches of that E1 through E3 type lifestyle. So they, they refer to me. They're like, well, Joseph, you know what I'm saying? What is your insight? I read the case and boom, you know what I'm saying? So rather I seen you in person, never seen you in my life. If your situation is really that, you know what I'm saying, that thorough, bro, I'm going to help you. You know what I'm saying? These people never know that, that you know what I'm saying, I help. But I know, you know what I'm saying, make me feel better knowing that, like, okay. Because I know the Navy, the military in general can get really wicked. Like like I said, I went through when it was wicked for me. You feel what I'm saying? And, like, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know nobody to talk to, so I suffered in silence with that. You know what I'm saying? Definitely being uh, being a male. You know what I'm saying? I, I suffered in silence, but I was like, man, I'll just thug it out, bro. And you you can thug it out. I'm not saying you can't. I'm not saying nobody's weak or whatever like that. You can't thug it out, but just know it eats at you, bro. It do. That shit eats at you like crazy. Like, even to this day, it's certain shit where I just move a little bit differently. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, dang. That's why I'm just like, I gotta help people. So it's like in her situation, I finally, you know, put my foot down. I'm like, look. I can't see you spiraling, bro. Like, I told her, like, bro, I don't want to see that. I was like, my priority is to help people, bro. And nobody told me to do this. It's just how I am as a person, bro. So it's just like, I just need, like, I need y'all females to know this, right? Females and males, once again. If you're in a situation of sexual assault, rape, anything like that, right? You have a restricted report and a unrestricted report. 
Because I know some females be like, oh, I don't want everybody to know. Or everybody, you know what I'm saying? Or like, I just want it to go under radar. Like, I want to make the report but under radar. Then you make a restricted report. With a restricted report, it stays with them. It's all hush, hush. You feel what I'm saying? It's all incognito. They gonna, nine times 10, they're going to get you out of that command. You know what I'm saying? Get you into some type of therapy, whatever that may be. You know what I'm saying? You make a unrestricted, it's it's open type thing. Not everybody going to know or whatever. But you know what I'm saying? They're they going to be less hush-hush about it, if you feel what I'm saying. Like, I'm trying to keep this in, like, layman's term, terms as much as possible. I don't want to go super deep. Because I'm like, well, what does that mean? What does that mean? You feel what I'm saying? And, um, so, yeah, like I said, you got restricted and unrestricted, right? And, boom, anything else with that, if your command is, um giving you a hard time or people at your command kind of blowing you off about it all this other stuff because i'm telling you they're going to do that at certain commands not every command not every command will do that but there are some commands bro where they're just gonna blow it off it's just gonna be a <sighs> okay here we go again they're not gonna see you as just a human being that got violated bro so it's like you got igs you know what i'm saying like you can get in touch with your igs you can look this stuff up on google too See what I'm saying? If y'all feel like, oh, you don't have the resources, I don't care. Hit me up on Instagram. You know what I'm saying? DM me. I'll give you the context that you need. If your command on BS, you got real soul, I'll give bro. I'm telling you, you hit me up on IG, bro. I will give you all the information you need in a heartbeat. I don't sleep. I do not go to sleep. I, I sleep for probably two or three hours. I'm telling you, I'm going to reply, bro. I'm going to reply. To be, you don't got to tell me your situation. Just be like, hey, two times, Jeremiah, whatever you want to call me. I need the info. That's it. That's all you got to say. I don't need to know your story. You know what I'm saying? I don't. I don't need to know your story, bro. I just know that you need the help. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody deserves help. Right? That's therapy. Because, like, me, myself, even though I'm saying preaching therapy and all that stuff, I don't believe in therapy. I went through all my stuff. You think I went to therapy and all that? No. I just thugged it out. Everybody handled everything differently. You know what I'm saying? I I spiraled a little bit. I ain't gonna sit around like, oh, I'm perfect. I was drinking. You know what I'm saying? Like, I spiraled a little bit, but I got back on track. Luckily, you know what I'm saying? With, you know, with God and all that other stuff, I, I, you know, found my way. Some other people need therapy and all this other stuff. Definitely with the magnitude of the situation, right? <laughs> so, you know, that's really just, that's, I really just had to get it off my chest, honestly. I just really had to talk to y'all about that, bro, because that shit's so tough, bro. Like, I got a little sister, bro. I ain't even trying to, like, drag this on and start, like, mumbling. But, bro, I got a little sister, bro. That shit happened to my sister. God forbid. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I don't... Ain't you no know, point in speaking on that. That should be that should be all the words y'all need to know on that situation. Some shit like that happened to my sister, bro. But, God forbid, you know what I'm saying? Y'all, Y'all women, men, too. Y'all just stay safe out here, bro. Stay on y'all P's and Q's. Definitely if you know it to the military. Don't just be so trusting to these friends, you know what I'm saying, that they're so welcoming to you. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying just push off everybody, but just stay on your P's and Q's, bro. Stay light on the alcohol, you know what I'm saying? Please stay light on the alcohol because that's where most of this stuff happens, bro. Definitely like with these sick men, these animals, bro, they prey on you and they wait. For you to get super late and all that other stuff, bro. As sick as it sounds. But look, bro. It's Jeremiah two times. Talk to me nice. Say it twice. That hat backwards bending. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, man. I'm going to drop another video soon, bro. I'm trying to get... I don't know, bro. This damn right just like a diary for me, honestly. And y'all just, you know. But I appreciate it. We still trying to get to the road to 1K. And all that good stuff like that, man. But all right, man. I'm out.